Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discuss about our new playlist called Cucumber with Claret JavaScript. Okay, and my previous videos you can see for playlist that is called by using for Cucumber with Claret and TypeScript. And this is my JavaScript. Okay, it a uh, little bit changes will happen. Okay, but the way of achievement everything is almost the same. Okay, but way of writing is different. The same like. That's a TS file, it is a Java uh, script file, okay, JS file, okay. Uh, but Cucumber, it's the best way to understand it for the all the members and also it will give for kicking language supporting like uh, uh, this by default we can see, right, uh, user-friendly uh, scenarios we can create. And these scenarios everybody can able to understand. Here there is a future and scenario concept will be there. A future is nothing but the scenario. Uh, like enter test case like story uh, you can say real time when you are getting for any future like any uh, test story okay that story or testing time you are going to create for that particular story you are creating for n number of scenarios and n number of steps test cases right the same thing the future is your story inside that you are going to create the scenarios that is called a test cases Okay, that is a user friendly we can able to say, and also we can uh, pre site for setting up in it is your Node.js and VS Code. How you can download this, right? Uh, Google Chrome, you can Google Chrome or anything is okay, fine, okay, and uh, search for the Google and Node.js Node downloader and click on here downloader and choose for which platform and three requisites and click on download once you click the download it will comes and sit into in this location okay double click that particular exe and it will open terms and condition accept the drop down and click next 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 and automatically start for installation okay the similar format you can able to download for visual studio code editor and the first option you can come back and it will uh, navigate into the home page of downloader and click here and download and also same thing, it will come and sit into your downloader folder location, double click and install it. Next, next, next. Okay, the simple. Okay. After that, you can create for new folder called uh, like this, play it with the JavaScript with the Cucumber or you can create for any name with your convenient. Okay. Any location, there is no mandatory. Uh, okay. Once you create it and open into your VS Code location. Okay, once you installed, uh, open your folder in our VS code, then you need to install this particular step. Okay, this is basically to install for latest version of Playwright. Okay, and uh, for terminal opening purpose, you can see it, three dots, you can go ahead a new, a new terminal. Okay, the terminal you can choose a new terminal. Once you choose, it will come and say. And here it will first, it will ask you for with the JavaScript or TypeScript. By default, it will be TypeScript and you need to choose for JavaScript. For this, right, you can click on down arrow and it will select it, okay? Once it is selected, you can uh, enter and again enter, enter and enter, just, okay? This four steps, once it is done, you can see the package.json file it is comes and it is started for installation as well. And also it will install for other eight node, okay, because we are using our node module for JavaScript. Now done, okay. And here there is an example dot folder, right? You can delete this, not required for us now, as of now. Okay, the remaining thing is, now click here, and here you can go for this particular information and come back and install it. This is basically installing for Cocoa. Okay. Once it is complete the installation, we can see for how it is installed or not. How can we know means you can package or JSON is right. Click on and automatically we can see there is a latest version of Google. Okay. Now in test folder is the right in the right click that for particular folder and choose for new folder. Name it called a futures. Okay. One and that again you can click on the test folder and again click choose for new folder that is called a steps. 
okay this two is done okay and third step you need to add the plug okay you need to add the plug you can search here cucumber okay there are multiple things most of the time i'll choose for this one or this one okay and what is the difference between these two means this is basically whenever you click for the future like in the future the steps will be the right given and made if you click for control on that particular one automatically it navigate into that particular step definition file location okay and if you choose this particular one if you click cross it will not that is the only one change remaining thing everything is the same one okay but no need to worry you can choose for any one of them and here sometimes the color coding it will not show properly because they are every time they are upgrading every time they are upgrading and most of the time it will not work as expected but if you install it sometimes it will work as expected sometimes it will be falling down but uh, uh, in case if it is not working as expected uninstall and choose this one and work it both are same okay no need to worry okay once you click on installation okay then come back and close this one as well and here you can click for anything uh, choose new file in the future okay demo dot a future demo dot future this is my future okay and here i'm going to choose for new file that's a step location uh demo dot js demo dot js this is a my two files okay now how what are the things we can do now Again, uh, for this two files setup, we need to do in now Cucumber settings location. How we can do? And here, control, uh, comma, we need to click. And the search bars will be, okay, here we need to use for Cucumber and automatically navigating the Cucumber location, edit settings. Okay, you can see right, edit settings automatically we come and sit in this location. Okay, now we need to do for this particular feature file to editing purpose okay and now i'll copy this entire line okay and make the comma and you can see and paste it okay and this particular feature file our uh, features is the right in the features and right click and copying that related path okay that particular path i'm going to pasting here okay we need to change the location like this okay and then steps is the right in the steps also we need to do the similar form. copy this one and comma and paste it okay saved it and take the steps and relate your path again and come back here and paste it and we need to rechange it okay now here ts plus we need to use for js because ours is js format of because javascript we are going to use it, okay now our settings got completed okay now what else we can do and here is uh, we need to use the cucumber.json file to override this particular uh, playrate.config. Okay, for this, we need to use for uh, root directory. We need to create the new file called cucumber.json. Okay, and we need to copy this entire things. Copy and paste it. Okay, and you can see here what are the things I done. The format option that is a snippet, we can able to use it. And the path, this is the path we pasted here. And required things, I'm going to use for the same. And public quotes, sometimes it will work out. And sometimes old versions is supporting like a public quote, like some uh, information will display. That particular one, uh, uh, removing purpose, we are using this. Dry run is basically without running, whether the steps are presented or not, we are going to see that. Okay. Now, here. After this, and we can change it as it, and we can see now this particular line of code we need to use in the package dot here. There is script location that you can enter and paste it. Okay. Test and cucumber.js and space of test. Okay. This is the one. save it and come to the feature and uh, type the feature. Okay. Sometimes Intel J will not work, and don't worry and type it as expected okay demo testing information okay and then scenario okay this is my scenario okay and this is 
a demo steps created. Okay. And then given what given we are going to use so checking demo. Okay. And when uh just print some message then result or uh, just uh, something we are going to use for result values something like this okay now i'm going to take to my terminal okay in this terminal i'm going to use for npm run test okay if i run now you can see it will provide some step definitions whether it will see here some sub test definitions are provided what are the step definitions okay we can copy the step definitions into demo dot step destination location okay and again when and then also Okay, done. And we can minimize like this. Okay, we can do something like here. Console dot console dot log, and here we are going to print for given. Okay, and then similar format here. Console dot a log. And we can use for okay. The same thing we can do it for here as well. Console dot a log, and we can use for there. Okay, just for printing something. Okay. Now again we have come back because we created now whether it is good. Now see it's gone. And if you click this one and automatically navigate into that location. Now one more thing, maybe you'll get it. The given and when you are not imported, then how it will now uh, understand it. Sometimes it will give you like this. Okay. So this you can use for input and curly braces, and you can use for given and when and then. Okay. Because that is the three without failing purpose. Okay. That is a cucumber, cucumber, or this is the package we need to do. Okay. Then we can again use for npm right if you do it now, you can see now what it is happening. And here, showing, okay, you can see for constant, constant equal to. Uh, require sometimes uh, this import will not work in a cucumber location okay but if you use the constant also it will work as it's you can see now see it is work as expected now given when then okay and we passed it for one scenario and three steps it got passed and zero seconds of execution okay and next video session, we can see that how we can implement our uh, step definitions. Okay, that we can see in the next video session. Thank you for watching, and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.